something very unique. You'll see a small slice of great American history and witness a great American tradition. Ladies and gentlemen, the very first Peabody Hotel opened in Memphis, Tennessee. And the year was 1869, shortly after the American Civil War. And it was in that very same location, ladies and gentlemen, that in 1933, something very special happened. For the first time anywhere in the entire world, ducks entered the fountain of a hotel. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm here this evening to tell you that they've been doing it ever since that fateful day in Memphis in 1933. Only today, of course, there are three Peabody Hotels. We still do have that original one in Memphis. It is on the National Historic Landmark list. We have this beautiful hotel, the Peabody Orlando. This was actually the second Peabody to open. And it opened over 100 years after the first, in 1986 to be exact. This is the largest Peabody Hotel. We have over 1,600 rooms in this hotel alone. And then the third hotel, ladies and gentlemen, is in Little Rock, Arkansas. And that one just opened in this century, 2002 to be exact. Three hotels, ladies and gentlemen. Only three places in the entire world where you can see what you will see this evening. The fabulous and world famous March of the Peabody Ducks. Now at each one of these three hotels, ladies and gentlemen, there's a family, a resident family. A family of five marching North American Mallard Ducks. Now I know what you're thinking. You're looking at this fountain, you're saying, but Donald, there's only four ducks in that fountain. And you'd be absolutely correct. And the reason for that is, ladies and gentlemen, the male happens to be up in the Royal Duck Palace. It seems that he had a little bit of a disagreement with the girls over whether or not it might be breeding season. He thinks it is, they think it is not. So we separated them today, and uh, the male, if you care to go up and have a look, is up in the Royal Duck Palace. But normally, there would sit here a family of five, one male and four females. Now these birds, the ones that you see before you here this evening, are all one year old, as is the male. They've been together as a family since they were two months old. They were a bonded family of ducks. They will never ever leave each other. They'll never allow another duck into this family, and none of them will ever want to leave it. Now we don't just have this one family of ducks, ladies and gentlemen, we actually have three. We have this newest, youngest family of one-year-olds, we have a second family of three-year-olds, and a third family of four-year-olds. Now these families, ladies and gentlemen, do not spend most of their lives here in our hotel. They'll actually spend most of their time on a wild farm that we have under contract very close by. Each hotel has its own wild farm. While on that farm, ladies and gentlemen, they'll learn all the skills they need to survive in the wild. And they will rotate, one behind the other, coming in and out of the hotel, none of them spending so much time there that it affects their ability to return to a wild environment. Now we do this for a very special and important reason, ladies and gentlemen. Because when each one of these three families reaches the right old age of five years old, they will each and every one retire from the hotel and return to a wild environment. And they will not only survive, ladies and gentlemen, they will thrive. Now also at each one of these three hotels, we have one and only one duck master. It's a trademark position. Nobody in the world can use the title of Duck Master except for the Peabody Hotels. And thus in the entire world, there are only three of us. We have Anthony Duck Master in Memphis, Tennessee. We have Lloyd Duck Master in Little Rock, Arkansas. But only here in Orlando do we have Donald Duck Master. <laughs> A very important distinction, ladies and gentlemen. This is a highly competitive job. You take whatever advantage you can. Ladies and gentlemen, 
In a few moments here, I'll be taking the four females up to their royal Dutch palace, where the male is and where they will spend the evening, an evening of leisure, and have their dinner. Now with these birds, as I mentioned earlier, I told you that they are wild birds. When they do come into the hotel for brief visits, they will spend six hours a day here in the lobby fountain, surrounded by human beings. But they will spend 18 hours a day up in the Royal Duck Palace, a separate building just for them while they're here. It is a separate building, ladies and gentlemen. We do not allow any humans inside, particularly when they're there. But it is a $100,000 separate building. It has all black imported Italian marble on the inside, two sculpted duck fountains, and a pool. Just for the visiting family of Peabody Ducks. More than welcome to go up and have a look at it for yourself. Any of the elevators here at the edge of the red carpet, just push the R button. And when you get off on the R level, just uh, look out on the rooftop, you'll see a tennis court. Head toward the tennis court, the palace will be on your left. Do enjoy the march this evening, ladies and gentlemen. I know that tonight you see a very small slice of great American history and witness a great American tradition. If you have any questions at all, I will be around after the march and be more than happy to, to answer them all. Please do keep the red carpet clear, as the ducks do not like competition on their carpet. Enjoy the march, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. May I have your attention, please? At the center of the lobby stands the classic Peabody Fountain. Back in the 1930s, in the lobby fountain of the Peabody Memphis, a unique tradition began which has made the South's grand hotel famous the world over. If I may now direct your attention to our fountain, you will witness here in Orlando a continuation of that time-honored tradition, an experience uniquely yours as a guest of the Peabody Orlando. Preparing to return to their Royal Duck Palace for the night. Ladies and gentlemen, the March of the Peabody Ducks.